Look at the queues. Twenty-one fifty at night. Look at the queues at Bali Airport. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Landed in Bali in my taxi on the way to Vision Villas. Just admiring the sculptures. This one is amazing. What a beautiful sight. It's great to see the island at night. Thank you. It's nice and warm as well. There's an army of motorcyclists in front of us. Just whizzing past us so quickly. <laughs> <That's not allowed. laughs> oh, they're like little wasps. It's midnight and I've just arrived at Vision Villas. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Uh, wow. This is amazing. And this is one bedroom. Fantastic. Wow. Thank you so much. Plus, it's me in the in the in the back in the laptop. I'll show you quickly what's outside my door. It's dark.
See the food. Wow, it's a feast. Good. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Balinese vlog day one after the lovely dinner tonight at Entrepreneurs Resorts at Vision Villas we got given these lovely scarves there are five different colors tied nicely and each day we were asked to wear a color according to the day's energy so tomorrow is Monday and we need to wear the yellow scarf I'm gonna pull it out and get it ready for tomorrow so everybody from the group is gonna wear a yellow scarf tomorrow we also have green red orange and purple I'm gonna do some more reporting from tomorrow's activities good night from me for now the who and the how will show up you get the what and the when really clear the why really powerful the who and the how will show up um, and the thing is as well the who and the how might not yet be clear, but the why is so strict and powerful that if they get a lot of money that they can do together, then you know, the person or the who might already be in the room, and the how might be the strategy and ways that we are at Roger Hamilton's Entrepreneur Resort in Bali. This is Vision Villas, and we are just having a tour around the grounds. 
today is a Monday, so it's still energy. So you can see everybody wearing yellow scarves. And Rory is explaining what everything means. We are going to the whole space. Blaze energy. To notice about this space? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. More, 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 more social, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not cubicle desks. Mm -hmm. What have we started to see with places like Google and you know, Facebook and any other sort of pioneering organization? What do we see with the spaces that, that they're creating for their workers? Open yeah, it's open Day one at Entrepreneur Resort in Bali. I'm just having a quick lunch. I'm having duck and potato rosti with mushroom sauce. But I'm gonna show you the view I'm enjoying. Look at the view from the veranda. This is a little fountain with rose petals. And in the ponds we have lovely fish. Ah, oh, there's one swimming over there. What is this called? This is called the Asian bowl. Oh, this is the Asian bowl. Yeah. Very good. Looks very healthy. Sorry, are you videoing it or filming it? Yeah, film it. Um, I'm going to hang it on my Okay, okay. I'll just think about you then. So you get to be all sorts of bad stuff. So, so, so you've already been through the one, two, three, right? And there's a lot of you who are in the, the foundation prism. And so you guys, and this is why it's so important to team up. And as I go through uh, a lot of um, my examples and the things I'm going to be talking about, the key to everything is partnerships. You've probably had Rory tell you this till you're you know, sick to death of it, but I'm going to keep going on because that's reality. There's no such thing as a self-made millionaire. Everyone partners up, everyone works with someone else. And so if you're sitting there going like, hey, I need to make this business, I need to do it myself, I'm sorry if that's wrong. Um, so I'm going to share with you some examples of how a few different people have done it. And I'm going to start right at the very basics, which is infrared. So infrared, if you think about it, we don't have anyone who's infrared at the moment, do we? I don't think so. Uh, it's also that this is the health I have because this first example is all to do with health. This, this is my brother. He was a drug addict, an alcohol addict, and he's a star. So I didn't actually realize he was a star. I finally had to take the test up that he'd been in rehab for about Dinner time at Vision Villas. This is the genius curry. 
And these are our guests for tonight, the speakers. Coffee break at Vision Villas. We have fresh cut up fruit and it's all covered, but I'm gonna open it. Look at this. This is how beautifully cut the fruit is. The others are coming out just now. <laughs> wow. So beautiful. And I think these are the vegetables. Said um, with children. And to just refrain from saying no, okay. not, okay. not, just no, not, and don't. Children and adults as well, but practice it on your kids. It was so hard. The amount of times you say no, not, and don't. Yeah. Don't do that. Why are you doing that? Stop this. Don't step on this. Don't. And yeah, and so we committed to practicing that. And we stopped saying no, not, and don't since the day that she was pretty much born. And instead of telling them don't do this, you tell them what they want, what they should do. And they they live now in a world of what I can do and should do instead of, I can't do this, I can't do that. You know, it's like uh, even normal. Oh, watch that, don't step on that. It's like, hey, walk around that, a walk. You know, instead of run, don't run. Because all we hear is run. Oh, the kids, that's all yeah. kids hear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The person, one problem. What can you do that's so deeply unique? And we tie that directly into our message. Now we're nailing it. We become Google's ear message based on what you do and the problems that you solve. Cool that? Are we, are we good on, on achieving that? So before I do that, I want to go through a bit of the brand love curve. Now I know that Dee talked deeply into branding and I'm not going to go overly into it, but this is so important to pre-frame how you're taking your customers through your brand, what I like to call is that love curve. Because in initially, you have to establish in their mind. They're very indifferent. They're at one of the I did say great. <laughs>